showing you how to deal with Tyrell N6 by Yuhi. Just go to their website if you don't have it already and click on one of these links. It takes you to a website where you can download it. Some German website, uh, but it tells you how to how to do that. So let's get to it. We're gonna just drop a new instance here. And there's the initialized sound. And I'm gonna start off by showing you about this mixer. This is the volume controls for your two oscillators, your sub oscillator, your noise, your ring modulator, and feedback. So you have your first oscillator, and that is controlled by this knob over here. That's the shape of it. So you go from from sine wave to triangle wave to saw wave to square wave. And then you have your second oscillator. It's controlled by the second knob here. From square to, I think that's triangle. I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't know why they're not the same. Because um, this one, you can get a sine wave. But this one, it's stuck at like a saw wave or saw wave sounding thing. Uh, and then you have a sub oscillator. I don't think, I don't think you can actually change the sound of it. It, you, it just is that sound. And then you have noise. It's just white noise or pink noise. You can control it over here. Uh, ring modulator. I, I'm not sure how that works. I don't really understand it. But if you want to do some research on that, go to Wikipedia, look up ring modulator. And your controls for that are over here, these two things. Then you have feedback. So what I'm guessing is it'll take your sound from your two oscillators here, well, anything you have here, and then throw it back into the input. So it'll take the output, throw it back into the input, and it'll give you a little bit of feedback. Uh, okay, over here in the oscillators, you can have your second oscillator be tuned from zero steps to 24 steps, which is two octaves. So if you have it at an octave up, it's exactly an octave up from your first oscillator. And you can also fine tune it with this knob. And then over here, you have your T mods one and two. These are tuning modifications, and you can uh, select a source here for each one of these. All right, over here in your filter, this is just a simple filter, your filter cutoff, the resonance of that filter, and then the mix spread, which is affecting if it is a low pass or a high pass filter or if you're on band pass it'll affect where that band is in the frequency spectrum so I'll demonstrate those so if you go here you are at a low pass and then as you move it up it'll go to a high pass And then, I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, you can look that up, VCF poles. I'm guessing that um, if you're using Ableton, it is similar to this right here. That's my guess. All right. So let's see, we have two modification knobs for our filter as well. Um, 
I guess I should explain this first up here. You have gate and ADSR. Gate is, you press a button, it plays a note. And nothing is applied to the note before it happens. Whereas ADSR is, it will go through this ADSR one first to play the note. So you're gonna change the attack, decay, sustain, or release of the note. So you can make it have a slower attack. You can make it have a slower release, so when you let go, it'll keep playing. Or you can have a fast attack and a low decay and get a plucky noise. Uh, let's see. So that's gate and ADS are there. Uh, you have voice mode, poly, mono, legato, duo. Poly is you can play multiple notes at the same time. Mono is you can only play one. And legato is it kind of glides between them. Voices are how many oscillators are playing at the same time. So basically, if you have two oscillators here, that'll basically play four oscillators now with two voices. Uh, drift, I think, is part of glide. It's some It's kind of legato. No, not exactly sure on that. All right, so going down here, let's go to the knobs, the modification. So you can affect your filter cutoff with your ADSR. Let's turn this to gate so it just plays the note straight away. And you can make it have a fast attack. So what's happening here is that when you press the note, this knob is automating your filter cutoff to sweep down each time you press the note. So it's going like that. But you can also have another one going at the same time. So if we go to our LFO, and that brings us to here. So you have two different LFOs that can also affect a lot of stuff here. So you can set this, let's go to a sine wave at two bars. And then we're gonna make that sync up with your DAW's BPM. At gate, it will start the, the LFO cycle when you press the note. At single, it'll only do a single cycle. And at random, it does it randomly, believe it or not. So we're gonna go with sync and we're gonna move this around. So let's take the ADSR off first. So this LFO right here is automating your filter to sweep up and down. So if you mix these two together it will do the ADSR and the LFO at the same time. All right, let's do something a little bit more fun with this. So you can automate your ADSR as well. So on gate, it will only do it when you press the button. When you have it on loop, it'll go through the ADSR cycle and then start it over again, not syncing with anything else. So if you have it there, it'll Let's see. It'll just go through the attack, decay, sustained release. See, I'm bringing the release up and it's making the loop longer. So I don't find much use for that because it doesn't sync with anything. But a way you can sync it is by going to an LFO. So now your LFO 1 is going to be affecting your ADSR, which is, or it's affecting the cycle of the ADSR, which is affecting your filter cutoff. So we can set this to, let's say, an eighth note, 
at a let's go a saw wave down and we need to change the depth mod this is how deep your filter will move or how deep the LFO will move at the left it is 100% at the right it is 0 and it's backwards from what that is so we will make this sync and here we go so every eighth note it is cycling your uh, ADSR to affect your filter so you, if you play with your ADSR it will be contained within your LFO cycle Pretty neat, huh? All right, so going off of some routing things, you can also route to your T mounts over here that I mentioned earlier. So you can have your LFO one affect your your tuning modulation here. So. So every eighth note cycle, it is modulating your tuning. And it does this. This goes to your, um, your first oscillator. This goes to your second oscillator. So you can get some neat stuff out of that. You can also have, let's see, I want to affect my, the tuning of my second oscillator as well. So you can do that down here in your matrix. Let's see, we're gonna go Tyrell tuning two. So it'd be this one right here. And you can have two different things affect it, but I only want my second LFO to affect it. And I don't want it to go too much, so I'm going to put the depth mod up a little bit. And it'll go every two bars, that sounds good. So here's just the second oscillator. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to move this knob. When it's at the top, it is not doing anything. Also you can get everything back to defaults if you double click on them. So if you have this set to some random parameter, double click it and it goes back. Same with the mixers. So let's go here. Um, oh come on. All right, I guess I'm not sure how this works, but you can affect anything in this synth from anything. So your LFOs, your ADSRs, and then all this other stuff. All right, up here in your oscillator mod, you have two sliders that I'm not too sure about. I don't know what they do. I don't play with them much. So, um, the thing I do know about is this glide. So let's go, uh, I'm going to reset these. All right, there, we're back to normal. So your glide is how fast it will glide between notes. So if you press a note and then press another note without letting go
so I guess I'm trying to get a siren sound there. Uh, yeah, so that's your glide. I'm just double clicking everything to get it back to the default. Uh, let's see. There's a chorus on the bottom here. It's just the same as any old chorus, except it's in the scent, so like the Ableton preset. I'm sure you know how to work a chorus. If not, there are videos for that. Um, did I miss anything? I'm not sure about this matrix. It's a bit confusing. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that.